Cat Jam indeed. Good morning, Illustrious. Oh, as the title suggests, this is a uh, this is a, a bittersweet Darkest Dungeon two <laughs> day. Oh, the agony, the agony of missing heroes. What can I say? Ah, oh, also the time absolutely eluded me. Hey, Rose, welcome on in. Uh, I mean, I think it's time to. I think it's time to rebuild them. We must. Uh, we must rebuild them. So let's. Uh, I guess let's get on with that because no rewind. We're not. We're not going to rewind. Uh, I thought about it, and it just. It, it removes the sanctity of, of things that I that I don't want the sanctity removed of. So that means that uh, we have a, we have a graveyard. We lost we've lost five people as of late, Rose. Um, also, also we have a we have a visiting pupper, so we have we have double pupper trouble today. So uh, get get used to some barks. I think is the uh, is the short version. Uh, let me see if I can get this going really quickly. There we go. Yeah. Bork alert indeed. Olive, Olive and Milo are in the house. All right, let's let's start let's start doing things. So what I was thinking, so this is the this is the question for uh for for the two of you as we as we get started. I don't I think I think what we do Maybe maybe not as much a question. Also, we have to we have to come look at at our sad, our sad loss here. It, it really bothers me that the grand slam is not checked off. We have done that. I have the footage. I think we start out and we do a act two, and and we start rebuilding. I think that's I think that's the plan. Ah, oh, it is. It is painful to think about all of those heroes. We could try using the same team that we just lost with. <laughs> is that is that ironic? We still got 48 candles for our loss, which is nice. Uh, I guess we'll probably do some rolling. So the problem is, is it doesn't take that long in Lustrous. And if we want to do a little bit of act, like if we want to do, like we can't really do two runs in in, unless we do a full stream of just Darkest Dungeon, which we could do, but but also I I think Dark Act One is harder than Act Two. That's a, that's a hot take from me, but the fact that Act One is so rushed makes it hard. Hey Alex, welcome. But let's uh, let's get this party started. All right, last time. We uh we had we had some bad luck to say the least. But uh but we're gonna try and rebuild our, our roster. We have we have five dead now, as denoting or as uh, as indicated by the the five heroes that are missing from our roster now. Ooh, this feels thin. Wow, everyone who's left is a hundred percent memoried though, so I guess we won't have anyone competing for memories. Uh Let's see. We'll go to the working fields. We'll grab a stagecoach item. Wind chime is fine. That can take off some pressure. Clasp knife. We could we could go for some bleed. Although the team that we have for bleeding is not exactly uh, that useful. The the icker bomb would be good for uh, for going after the first one. Yeah, Alex. There there is a little bit of that for sure. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's get on. We'll probably do some rerolls, but let's uh, let's see what we're working with. I don't know what our team is going to be, but I want to take out a, a fresh squad, hopefully with some decent memories. But yeah, I think we'll we'll go for Act Two because the problem is, is Act One's shortness is kind of funky. Yeah, indeed, we're gonna we're gonna have to name some new characters. But yeah, I think with the right. With the right squad, the the seething sigh is pretty doable. I'll, I'll I'll leave it at doable. I won't say I won't say easy, but and it pained me greatly to hold you back. The crossroads. 
They are tombstones, Bloodfang, because we had a party wipe last week. Those are tombstones. There are five of them to denote uh, Baldwin, Al, Junaya, Sahar, and Reynold, all of whom died a terrible death. Oh, are gravestones? I mean, in my YouTube, it shows up. Hold on, let me go check. Oh, you got squares on notification. Yeah, on the actual YouTube page, it looks good. But that's interesting. I wonder if that's them trying to do something. How curious. How curious indeed. So let's see. So what are what's our plan here? A sister of battle. I think I think we're going for something like Are we are we going for are we crazy and we're going for the same we could go for the same thing but we could have we could have a leper in the front rank. So uh no, so I I just use uh some well I use open source software Bloodfang. So uh the the core technology of Restream is something called RTMP. Uh it's, it's real-time transport media protocol, I think is what it stands for, but the, the short version of it is that it, it allows you to redirect streams, and uh, it's it's just an open source tool that anyone can kind of use. So I actually have, I have a NAS in my office that I that runs the, uh, the RTMP server, and then I just push a, a data to that, and it splits it off. But I will also say that lately I've been streaming to YouTube using a, the AV1 codec for kind of higher quality streams, so, uh, so that's the the other difference. So we're gonna are we gonna swap Sahar for Baldwin? Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, so this is actually really interesting. Hold on. Let me. I need to go back in my notes for a second here. So we had. Uh, so I used to be a software engineer and and tech lead at, at Google Bloodfang before uh, in my previous. In my previous life. Okay. So every time you do start again, you uh, they do re hit re the reset on these uh, on these quirks. So let's take let's take a look and see what quirks we have. Bonvenant pyrophobic. Let's see. Okay. So you sprawl scrounger kleptomaniac. Tangle tactician occultist eh, or occultophobic. Hard noggin fanatic fanatic fearing and photo exp feeder explorer and slow handed i i'm not thrilled about having sahar in, in this so i think we're going to go this way uh, i will spend some rerolls but i think we're going to we're going to go poet cuz that is we're going to go poet seraph aspirant and then do we want banneret i'm a little undecided Well, so Bloodfang, the the story. Oh, thank you so much. I'm I'm glad to hear it, Bloodfang. But the story goes, it took me uh, it took me five attempts to get into Google. I I was working at another company and uh, and spent many 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 <laughs> efforts to to get in. So, you know, I I think it's what I would say about that is just that. I think with any interview process, be it at Google or any other company, the interview process is kind of deeply flawed, and it's more about right people, right time, than like one person being significantly better than the other. Like I worked with an incredible group of people. There's no question. There's some amazing people that work at Google, but I've worked with a lot of amazing people at a lot of companies. Uh, yeah, seven round interview process, and I did it five times before I found a job. The uh, the story of that, and I, I'll, I'll say it only very briefly, and then we'll kind of get on with things. Have I done all my paths? Because we can we can start re-rolling. But uh, every, Google keeps track of all the questions you've been asked and the, the feedback that you've gotten on those questions and notes on your answer. So when I was doing interviewing, when someone would come in who had previously interviewed, they give you essentially a dossier that's like, here's all the stuff we've asked them before. Uh, and on my fifth round of interviews, the the person who interviewed me was like 
I can't believe this. Like, I've never seen one this long because it, it literally had five rounds of on-site interviews. So 35 interviews worth of stuff that was handed to this person before the interview. And they're like, what am I supposed to do with this? But anyways, uh, enough enough talking about the past. Let's see what let's see what these rerolls look like. Give me something good. Vigilant Needler. We're going to have these heroes for a while. So I think now are, are my rerolls linked? Oh, my rerolls are linked. That's unfortunate. So when you have to reroll five people, that can be quite expensive. Um, I think I'm going to work on Baldwin. If we can get a defensive one, that would be nice. Maybe maybe we should do a little bit on the, on the Aspirant also. See if we can get something. Ooh, okay, Natural Swing. All right, Flawed Release we have to get rid of, but Natural Swing... Uh, I don't really want to lock it, but that's a hard one. Just searching for a good job. Uh, don't like to just go to work. I hear you on that one. Searching for like three months. Uh, it's it's hard. Uh, my, uh, my partner Sasha is also searching at the moment. Uh, so I, I know how that feels, uh, to be sure. All right. Well, we'll keep natural swing for now. Uh, and the rerolls are starting to ramp up in cost significantly. So I'll probably, maybe I'll give one more reroll here and just see if we can get something interesting. Eh, that'll be good enough. All right. Because are they doubling every time? They're not doubling every time, but they're getting expensive. Yeah, the, the occultist heals are, are rough and tumble, even after the even after the improvements. And let's make sure our skills are are on point. Let's see. Where are you? Intimidate my beloved. And yeah, for now we'll leave reflection. And then we're going to be going pretty melee heavy with this occultist for the time being. Since we're doing aspirant, I think burning stars is uh, is overly ambitious. And then we'll grab a consecration of light and divine comfort and we will grab you are going to be our, our stress healer for when we need patchy stress healing. So for now, maybe I'll, I'll leave it as this. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see how we do here. Let's see how we do. It's been a long time since we haven't had any heroes. <laughs> do you find a perfect dance team for now? I just faced an issue with the health of the dancing guys. Like Sahara and the Grave Robber, dancing feels, uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say. Like, I, I did a really fun no healer run, uh, not too long ago, Blood Fang, that I think worked out super well. The, there is a little bit of that. Okay, so, first of all, while people are here, does anyone want to claim a hero before, while we, while we're getting on the road? Does anyone want to be any of these four fresh souls? We haven't lost a lot lately, knock on wood. So you could be locking your name in for a lot of future streams if you are if you are interested in uh in it. With open arms. I know Inlustrous died last time. Alright, Bloodfang's taken Reynold. I love to see it. Alright. Alright, let us let us get the intimidate going. On to the next. Felice, you got it. Absolutely. Welcome to the stream. I I don't know if I uh It looks like you're not a first term ch ch time chatter, so I I apologize for not uh not remembering you, but welcome to the uh Welcome to the thick of things. We'll do it right after this fight. Hey, Rusty! Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. In Lustrous, you're uh, you're bringing you're bringing the something already. Love to see it. We'll withstand this time. Ah, oh, I love it, Felice. Well, I'm I'm sorry that I uh, I did not immediately uh, recognize that you are uh, you are among the ranks. But either way, happy to have you. 
We'll, we'll do a little bit of middle juggle here. I guess we, we miss out Consecration of Light. So if we're going to do the middle juggle, we should put Consecration of Light in the three slot. Rusty, we have to rebuild. We had a party wipe last time in case you were, uh, you were sleeping under a rock. We have no, we have no Minestrone available, so... Stupendous. Stupendous indeed. Oh, that was illustrious. What happened there? Yes! 3k subs on YouTube did happen, Rusty, and I am... I am deeply grateful to everyone. Uh, the unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Duelist is really hard, Bloodfang. Uh, okay, let's see. So what do, what do we got here? What, what, who has been requested? So we have, we have Felice here. And, and by the way, I can change any of these if uh, if I don't get the name quite right. We got we got Bloodfang right there. We got an Lustrous right there. Yeah, three K subs felt really good. I was sitting at two point nine K for like a long time, and I was like, any day now. All right. So, did I miss anyone else? Is anyone uh? thrown their hat in the ring for uh, for Baldwin. Our, our lepers are much loved around here. Gotta love the lepers. I don't think Clasp Knife is gonna find a home on this comp. Not gonna lie. The familiar heart well, at least we have a lot of holy beads, be right? Again. Now, let's see. Last time, did I go... I think I went Larval Carrion Eater with this crew last time. Meditative might be worth the worth the pickup. Where are we going? Let's see. Consider your position and plan accordingly. We don't have a great team for tangling. Fair, but, fairly priced. but we could probably we could probably do it. How would it change things if we locked everyone in place? Did I do Corpse Light last time? I thought I was tempted by Corpse Light and then I decided against it in Lustrous. Uh, I've been streaming for, I guess, over three years now. We'll go Lar Larval Carry Eater. I think we have a good team for doing a little bit of work there. I'll grab these and then... We can grab the spore grenade. It's a little it's a little tough. The next stop Streaming away. under under Time any circumstances is an uphill battle, Bloodfang, I will say. The means of mastery. I was definitely thinking about it. That is that is for sure. We have a very durable team. I think I will probably grab N apples and cheese for our leper, just because they are gonna be taking the bulk of the abuse. And I kind of want to grab the meditative totem. We have we have flawed release on you in Lustrous. And if we can get rid of that, that's good money. And then with these, I think we can we're relatively safe to do the general. The biggest problem we're gonna have is we have no items except for the thunderclap grenades for pushing back progress. Of of his uh, of his shenanigans, let's see. So, so are we gonna do? I think we're probably gonna do the shuffle comp in the middle. That that is true. That's very old school. Although it's still it's still available in thumbnail form at least for now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Let's go. Who do we want getting the holy beads? Maybe like you, you and you maybe. Did we get speed off that? We did get speed off that. That's kind of nice. We're a, oh, we're an incredibly slow team. That's something to to keep an eye on. Yeah, I, I used to have like shoulder length uh, ringlet hair, but uh, don't don't think it was the look for me. Uh, <laughs> 
Let's see. Holy Lance. Holy Lance is tempting just for some damage. Binding Shadows is also tempting. But we could also go Consecration of Light. Eh, let's go... There was nothing on the route select that I was interested in. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Trenches and tents. The front lines of a war that was never fought. So let's see. If we... Can we... Does the banneret? I need to check this. Does the banneret have the ability... They, you can't Zealous from rank 2. So we're probably going to be sealing spaghettiing on the general. I don't think I want... To, ah, maybe we do upgrade it. Round one, we're not going to get to use it, though. Hmm. Tough choices. Two, two Holy Lances is pretty big. So we'll grab that, and then I think I'm just a little torn on... I can't really... I think it's Sack Stab, actually. All right, we'll get some we'll get some damage skills going. We get we get the nice crit bump from that, which is worth the price of admission. And then how's our HP looking? Everybody's about the same. All right. Let's let's save some money. We may need it. Let's get this party started. I I've had such a hard time with Bonk Vestal Bloodfang. It's it's a tricky that that feels like a tricky one to me. I don't Yeah, like she feels so difficult just oh wow. All right, first fight general is that what we're is that what we're up to? I guess so. We could We could uh we could vo avoid, but I mean like what what do we have to lose, right? Felice Bloodfang and Illustrious wink wink. <laughs> how about how about some linseed oil from one of these uh, from one of these road debris? Okay. Speaking of though, we need to get our combat items equipped. This is going to be a slightly dodgy general. No, we're not going to die. That would be... I mean, I guess it's not out of the question. But boy, would that be a... a kick in the pants. Weird place to put it, but I think that's what we do. Yeah, the kingdoms I'm super excited by. God, come on, where where are my hits at, team? That's really piercing bolt really annoying when I'm sitting on that nice uh that nice improved dodge. Let's see, you're at three, five. A two could do you in. Alright. Nicely done. Top everybody off. I, I I think it's only bragging rights. Blood Fang. I uh I don't I don't think there's an unlock for it, although that might that might change my tune on on pursuing it. Um variable can make all the difference. Yeah, it, it didn't even occur to me that there might be a, uh... There might be some type of reward for it. Sounds obvious now, but... Oh, terrible hit. Come on, Bloodfang, pick it up. You need a little more oomph out of you.
Gotta, gotta use that larval carry and eater goodness. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice hit. Ah, uh, only 16. A simple variable. Easily resolved. But yeah, has anyone fully upgraded it yet? I wouldn't be surprised if someone like British Brat has, just given the fact that, uh... Given the fact that they play so much Darkest Dungeon. I'm gonna weaken you for volley. I think that's the play here. Unnecessary roughness. Okay, one off feels bad, but the the weaken helps a lot there. The bleed is a little annoying, but we'll uh we'll work on it. Yeah, there's, there's some interesting potential, like, juggle comp type implications here. We do have one problem. Which is, if this guy dies, this guy could bring him back. But I think we can, we can close that window like so. Soften up a corpse. I want to get some healing on our on our leper here. It's very likely to, to finish it off, so I don't want to do that quite yet. Three away is kind of an awkward place for that to land. I I love me some holy lance for sure. Did I just miss that? Oh the pain. The pain, I say. Let's see. You don't need any more. I guess we'll hack away at this guy a little bit. Now we're 50-50 to get to secure the kill here, which feels bad. Yeah. Ugh. All right. We'll have to have to wait. That's not going to do anything. That has zero battlefield impact. This actually probably goes away this turn because we killed this before this. So might as well do that. Try and get some stress healing. Definitely, definitely taking my sweet time on this fight, but I want to go into the general as healthy as... That feels bad. Um... Oh, I had execution! Disaster! Where the heck did that come from? Uh-oh. Seriously, where did that come from? Oh, does this just have execution? Ah! The misplays! Yeah, yeah, her heal and her attack both consume the tokens. Alright, so, now we're going into the general feeling a little bad. Uh, General's Dream, I think, could be interesting for this team. I think it's actually not bad for this team, it means we can spam Holy Lance. Alright, well, this might get ugly, but you're all disposable. <laughs> Locked in a nightmare slumber. What can I say? Tortured by failures both real and imagined. Oh, the blight resist. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. We're, we're going to be shuffling into place. I'm not worried about it, Bloodfang. Oh. 
A master stroke. Hopefully it, it removes the occultist. All right, no dice on that one, but that's okay. Unsettling whispers should not cause stress when it's dodged, but all right, a little bit unlucky there. This guy's unstunnable, so we'll just do that. Okay, bad luck on the growth there, which means we're going to be taking a uh, we're going to be taking a hit up front for sure. The resists are are nasty at the moment. We've already got plenty of defend tokens. The bleeds are scarier than anything else, if we're being honest. Probably gonna take a meltdown. I think there's probably no way around it. We're not quite in solemnity range, so I think we have to we have to chill for a second. Which probably means a meltdown. Oh, I hate the turn order right now. So we will have to ping there, hoping that we unlock the leper. Still no, still no joy. I think we just put in the numbers. So right now we're sitting on it's already broadcast, so we should chill. Just just do some damage. I'm gonna try and try and put off the uh, the inevitable here. This is, this is, though, is a turn where we are definitely going to be pushing back all the growth. And then I think to be on the safe side, we just, we just heal up. Doesn't feel great, but... Yep, it's not too bad. Okay, give me that burn dot, please. All right, now it's just rush down time. I'd, I'd love to see another new hero, Rose. I'd love to see another new hero. All right, how are we gonna... Was his ar oh, his armor was already broken. All right, let's see. So I think physician heal thyself. The fight is not quite over. I think we I think we still go for the the solemnity here. We'll probably outspeed him. Yeah, we're fine. So we have execute one on sack stab. I've I've learned that the hard way. Um, <laughs> the the doggos are, are in top form at the moment. Okay, so you could get a reflection. You your stress heal is on cooldown, so someone has to poke this guy. That's the short version. 
So we poke, not using execute. That gives us the reflection. Yeah, and then you are you are out on inspiring cry, so we'll we'll do that. So I think we did okay. Oh shoot! I forgot to look at hero goals. We just got we just got a thing. We just got signed indenture. When moving, ally behind gets defend. Rallying cry gives that weaken on rank four at end of turn. Okay. Well, we did the thing. So I guess we should look at our goals. All the rest are candles, unfortunately. We did have a hero trinket. Oh, but it doesn't tell you which hero trinket. That's a bit unfortunate. I think it should tell you which hero trinket you're getting. That that doesn't seem like it would be too big a deal. So I guess we put that on. I don't think it has a, a, a large downside. I think for now we put that there. Speed is less than or equal to two. You get locked in place. We don't love that. It's very unlikely that the occultist will be that way. So we'll do that for now, I guess. And then those should not go on you. We'll put those on you. Yeah, so at the moment, we do need to do a bit of a bit of recuperation. Hopefully this fight will be it. Love to see the Hoarder, though. Wouldn't mind picking up, like, a damage trinket for Illustrious. By the way, uh, Illustrious, as you are a second generation, let me know if you want to be a 2.0 to keep track of your uh, your death ratio. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have... You and either of them are pretty much the same. Well, this is an unpleasant, uh, an unpleasant cadre. Never die, simply change vessels. I like that lore. Get these guys off the back so they can't piercing shot, is the thinking there. Uh... This is not going to be a great stalling fight for us, <laughs> for the record. Well, especially not with, with shenanigans like that. Let's get with Stan going. But yeah, now we need to do some stress healing and we need to harvest some corpses for some crit. Those are the uh, those are the, the critical aspects here. Unfortunately, we cannot... We can't afford to delay too long just because of torch shenanigans. But things are already feeling a little more tenable. We're we're just we we just want the crits for potential uh, stress healing. That's all we're that's all we're really interested in here. I think. I do want to taunt, though, just to avoid any more extraneous damage going to weird places. Let's get another corpse that we can convert into, uh, into healing. And or just stress healing. That was the hope, at least. I'm doing... I'm doing the Crusader because... 
we have the crit token here, which at some point should cause some level of stress healing. For the record. All right, crit on the way out the door. Show me the money. There we go. All right, so now we're at the five break point. Next fight, we'll be able to clean things up completely, but we have we have recovered. Ooh, that's not bad. That we can work with that. All right, hoarder. I want some I want some big money. Oh, okay, wind chime doing some work too. All kind of torn on on what the play is here. So putting it here means that we'll probably get one hit next time. We're in kind of an awkward place on Consecration of Light right now. So maybe we, maybe we open with Consecration of Fortitude just because we'll get the value out of it. Our human punching bag is doing excellent work. Maybe that's why no one wants to be the leper. <laughs> the, the the human punching bag aspect of it is uh, is not the most glamorous. We'll do that so that we're we're topping everybody off as we go. Wrong smite target, my dude. Would not recommend. And then we want to we want to slow down our uh, oh oh we were we were prevented from getting blocks. So that's going to be a little bit a little bit spooky. I could pass turn to heal, or <laughs> I could heal to full. It's a tough choice. Good targeting there, despite the taunt falling off. Nobody else can really get this corpse. But maybe we can create another corpse here. And do not relent. We'll get a strength token on, on him to hopefully convert into a little more health. Okay, or the leper gets it. I guess that's still good. But yeah, we're we have we have some solid recovery on this team. We need we are generating unchecked power faster than I was expecting, so maybe we need to put burning stars on there. Keep you stressed out. I need relationships early game. We'll uh we'll do some weird things with stress later in the run in Lustrous. That's the I think that's the plan. But Early on, I think it's uh, it's a bridge too far. I guess demon. I really like demon pull though. Maybe for now we drop abyssal artillery. That's a bit sacrilegious, but we'll we'll give it a go. All right, you two make for make or you two you four make friends. Again, we're uh, if anybody's interested in uh, in some leper action, now is the time. And tears. This is not a great pull. Calibrating sensor is probably the best we have. 
We do have other healing sources, but it, it is nice to have weird handy. Just in case. Just in case. Do we want to risk, our, risk ourselves on a whiskey barrel? Doesn't sound too fun. Do we have anything that enables armory key? Negative. I still do like Armory Key quite a bit. And I'm and calibrating sensor is great for Baldwin to just keep keep him in defense. I think I pick up calibrating sensor. That's a that's a solid a solid pickup for Baldwin and it doesn't put us at too much of a bobble disadvantage. Paid for in blood. And for now, we can put Footman's Grog there. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then I think I'll I'll skip the rest. Well, I'll pick up the Spore Grenade, and then we'll call it there. So, not a great hoarder, but not a terrible hoarder. We did miss the Creature Den. Memories of a Dream. Which one are you? I still haven't learned all the curi Curios. Let's let's see which one this is. Of a dream. Uh, we can pick up Calm, Death Seeker, Defiant, Devout, Cosmic Hater, etc., etc. Positive Quirk. Looks like it is only. We could potentially pick up Jinx on Baldwin. I don't think it's worth it at this point. Let's just get the uh, let's get the guaranteed. We we are shopping for positive quirks, but geez and lustrous, you really are you you want that fifty percent damage increase, don't you? Oh, I I took my eyes off the road there and and missed a pothole. Oh yeah, so you're talking about dropping weird. Slow, bacon, are there are there any streamers out there who utilize the uh, who utilize the pre-built setups? Because I don't. Okay, so we don't. So now, here's the question. What can we learn upon closer inspection? Yeah, we don't want piercing bolt volley. That's that's a bad time. Okay, well we may get it anyways. I, I'm gonna rush this guy down just because I don't want to deal with uh, I don't want to deal with the shenanigans. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Calibrating sensor, keeping us healthy and happy. Defensive formation is going to be a little annoying. But we can strip it here, and then we should have a nice five stress hit out of you and Lustrous. Which almost finishes the job. Clutch hitter Baldwin. <laughs> Dropping those fatty crits. So, okay, so here's a good example of putting Consecration of Light here and using Binding Shadows. We can get two procs out of it on this turn, which is pretty solid. That, that dot, though, is unfortunate. Scary Dead by Daylight killer was in Darkest Dungeon 2. There's some crazy Darkest Dungeon mods. 
Dark Chiron, we lo we've lost five heroes recently in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, it's been it's been very unfortunate. It's it's nothing more uh, nothing more sinister than that though. Not hope hope I didn't alarm you, but but yes, it is. Uh, it is unfortunate that we have had so many fall by the wayside. 31, not bad in Lustrous. Not bad at all. Yeah, we, we've lost five heroes in the last, like, four runs or so. A brilliant conclusion. As much as I like your damage right now in Lustrous, I also don't want you ruining our fun, so I am going to take you down to three pips. I know, tell me about it. The memory farming is going to be brutal. There, there's a part of me that hoped that we were just going to get a preview of, uh, of Darkest Kingdoms popping up to, uh, <laughs> to distract me from the woes of memory farming. I really do think that they, they need something like the old graveyard event from Darkest Dungeon 1, where occasionally your old dead heroes can come back. That would be, that would be so lovely. <laughs> I want, I want my heroes back. Because it takes so long to stack up the memories. It's kind of, it's kind of gutting. Oh wait, so, oh, I wanted to look at that. Uh, it's too late now. I don't think I can actually get the mouse over on it anymore. But you get a little more information on assistance nodes now. Like, this one said that they were destitute. These folk have kept their honor. We could certainly steal from them. I think we do steal from them. Thank you for your relics. Very unlikely that I will hire the, a bounty hunter, uh, Rose. I think that the opportunity cost of hiring a bounty hunter is quite significant. We've talked about this a fair number of times on the, uh, on the stream, but you, you miss out on a lot of opportunity to build relationships with your other heroes when you take the bounty hunter. And I don't think they are, I don't think they're worth it because you can win without them and you're getting more power by doing it the other way around. Let's see. So we could get double in items or a stagecoach item. We're spending 12 regardless, or we could just take the torch, but I think we want to spend 12. Two in items seems RNG heavy, so let's go, let's go with Baldwin here. Food barrels is not bad. I, I have not successfully utilized it, but that is not to say that it is unutilizable. But yeah, I feel like the Bounty Hunter got done dirty, unfortunately. I, I would like to see them become a full-fledged character. Yeah, if you could if you could refactor your party in Lustrous and and do that, I think we'd have a different the equation would be different. But in its current form, it feels very hard to to recommend. Yeah, food barrels with rabbit is not bad. We, uh, we do not have the rabbit. <laughs> Sadly, we are rabbit free. But we do have a good... We have at least a decent consecration of light here. Okay, no more crit tokens for anybody, but we do have this guy in the back. I I want Icon of Light again, but I also have PTSD from losing that last run with Icon of Light. Overconfidence became a slow and insidious killer on that one for sure. Wow, the blood bonds are coming out in force. I think I think they can uh, they could chill if they wanted to. There's absolutely no need for so much uh, so much pain.
I hate that we just got blinded. Ugh, so frustrating. So very frustrating. Three, three. Okay, they are they are roasted. So at least we got that going for us. We were slaughtered pretty quickly. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh, that was actually, that was a bit of a misplay. Because we are not actually going to finish this one off. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. I know I'm spreading damage a little bit, but it felt wasteful putting that there. When we had, when we could have used the combo for a stun here. Five to ten could be a kill. E for effort. But the poet has poet poetly duties. You've got one of them on Death Storm. Might as well make hay while the sun shines here a little bit. Oh, Solemnity. I've been paying attention to our... Uh, to our mastery for this region. I, I feel like that's not a good sign, but... Well, we have at least one mastery. Ooh, that Dark Impulse isn't bad. Since I'm I'm on the prowl for... Uh, for a little more. What are we rocking here? Three mastery for the region. We did accomplish the region goal, I believe. No, actually, we had to keep our flame above 40, so we failed on that one. That's okay. Three will be... Three will be okay. I'm starting to feel like Blood, Flang, Blood, Blood Fang and Felice need to switch to get the most out of, our, out of us, but... Wow, not bad. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. It's not terrible. Yeah, only the three mastery. Practice. Improve. Avoid the field hospital. It's a tough one. That's a tough one. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as Don't don't love that for, for potential hoarder shenanigans moving forward. Uh, oh yeah, we're locking ourselves in place. How is that gonna change things? I don't know how that's going to change things. It's an interesting question, to be sure. Where are we going? Haven't decided yet. The provinces and cantrebs of our land, crumbling and undone. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the Crusader will move. Um, I think we're going to the feeder, though. Avoid, like, avoiding the field hospital with haze is very difficult. So that, that two mastery is basically, you know, anyone's guess. So I think we're, I think we're locking... 
We're locking them in position one, and then... Maybe we just got grab Divine Comfort. Divine Grace, the, the healing threshold change makes such a big difference, but... Because I, I don't think we're going to be using Abyssal Artillery. We're also not going to be using Smite or Stunning Blow. What the heck are we going to be using? <laughs> a, a locked in rank three uh, crusader is, is an interesting animal, to say the least. We have no ability to hit... We have no ability to hit rank one. So the end of fights are going to get very awkward for for our crusader. Battle standard? Yeah, maybe we grab this and they become our healer. It's, it's below 50, so it's it's actually better than the Vestal. Okay, so here's what I think we do. I think we actually take Divine Grace off the Vestal, which is its own curiosity. We can grab Ministrations there. Then... Neither of these are useful. We'll grab that, and we'll grab... Hey! Thank you for the... Thank you for the sub! Much appreciated. I need I need to get those properly showing up in my, uh, in my console, as a side note. Let's see. And then, Rallying Cries and No, Radiance. Radiance is kind of a maybe, I guess. It's a four-turn cooldown. Maybe we grab Tenacity just so we have something to spam at the end of fights. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little weird. And then for now, I think we can do that. We can do that. We'll put that there for now. See, so yeah, I think we're going feeder. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot. And pestilence. We'll grab the spike ball. We do want some food for sure. Now, what it, the barrels all by themselves? Every ten food in inventory is a ten percent resolute chance. Wow, that is that is tough to <laughs> tough to get to. Um, let's see. So who has who has a negative, and we don't really care about their positives. I think that's, think that's you. Clutch hitter was, was what it was. Alright, let's see. What are our relationships looking like? Uh, okay. In Lustrous and Baldwin. Okay. You hate, you hate to see it. Okay. You love to see it. We have another problem with Felice. Ooh, we have we have a lot of problems, actually. I thought our relationships were slightly better than they actually are. A lot of blue here. Felice and Illustrious, and Illustrious and Bloodflying. Put that there, and then... You and you are gonna be taking some abuse. I'll hang on to this in case we sluice it up. Hey, Pallone! Let's see, anybody anybody else in the danger zone? No, nobody's good, but nobody's bad either. Welcome on in, Pallone. Pleasure to have you as always. All right, and then I think that's enough. Yep, let's get, let's get going. We could do a little more stress healing. Do we have anything that does stress and a little bit of relationship? Poetry's pretty expensive, but I'll grab one just to clean up the end of the stress and get a little more relationship. All right. Anything else I'm forgetting? I don't think so. 
All right. That could be negative. Yep. All right. Muttered threats. Well, at least it's chop and divine comfort. These are these are things that we already have. I think what I probably will do in light of divine comfort giving a vulnerable is I will first of all we're going to switch these two. Then Footman's Grog, I'm going to put here for now. Put that there. So there's not much of a downside to this, but does feel does feel a little bad that we got caught. Now, do we have no killing blo blows to speak of? We got faceless facsimile. We got cage creature. Lair boss is off to the left there, and then there's a field hospital. I don't think I have anything that I want to lock quite yet, but the we have to go left path if we want to get anything. So, Oasis, here we go. Yeah, that was a 5%er is your coach in Lustrous. For the upcoming obstruction? That was a 5%er. Let's make sure our skills, now that we're locked in place, are reasonable. What is Tenacity upgrade to? Actually, Tenacity has some nice synergy with Grave Robber and uh, the rest. I always get scared, scared when I see a... Uh, when I see an ambush. With, uh, with the General's Trinket, because there was a while when those... Uh, when the ambushes, these these immobilize effects did not show up immediately. Uh, that was a, that was a bad time. That was a bad time. What are you afraid of? What's what's going on? Why are you? All right. What does Chop do? Felice gets a taunt. She's a she's a bit of a jerk, I'm not gonna lie. Probably shouldn't have put the vulnerable there right before this guy was about to whack him, but. Elementary. The horror was really annoying on this one, for sure. Seventeen to thirty-three on both of these. We may not need both of those. That might be something to think about. Mm, tenacity, tenacity might grow on me. Guy dies to the dot, so just fishing for some some relationship here. I love that corpse. I think that's my favorite corpse. The the wood chopper with that. Yes. Well, the 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 fact that taunt is generally uh, is generally by the game agreed upon to be a negative token is very interesting. I will say. It opens up some interesting design space, to be sure. Uh, I'll definitely take the... Take the soothing liquid. Th please and thank you.
There we go. That'll help us keep stress under under wraps. See the debris ahead? That is where they'll make their move. See the debris ahead? That is where they'll make their move. Thank you, Wayne. Kind of Thank you, Wayne. Opportunists. Deleted? All right, we need, we need Bloodfang. You need to, you need to step it up. You need to step it up. Oh, my poet is stunned. That doesn't happen. He really does, Dark Chiron. He really does. I kind of love it though. By the way, we still have a, we still have naming rights on, uh, on our new leper. So if you if you think they have any chance of uh, of living to see another day, get your uh, get your naming rights in while you can. The other three have all uh, have all already been claimed. We'll taunt up here. No no worries. You just ask, Pallone. You just ask. You say, hey, can I be your leper? And I say, absolutely. freaking lootly this. I, I think I want to try and use some of these crit tokens. The big 5-0. This is why we put tenacity on the board. You may be my honorable diseased character, Pallone. It would be it would be my honor, in fact. It would be my honor. Would have been cool. <laughs> we are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Minor protector, it's worth worth using, even though I don't think it does. The the plus healing does affect regen. But the breakpoint on it is kind of funky, if I recall correctly. Now, Pallone, do you want the do you want the five in front of your name, or no? Let me let me know. I can always go back and change it. Okay, you got it, Pallone. It is it is done. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, to the crew. Full of the forbidden. Let's see. We got a trinket or combat items. I always forget. What is what what is the name of this one? This is uh is it the training dummy or whatever it is. Oh, let's see. Uh, real quick scan here. Do, 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 do. There it is. So we can get proxy doll or faceless visage, both of which I'm kind of like not into, or random combat items random combat items is probably better actually proxy doll is kind of interesting let's let's we could make we could potentially make proxy doll work if we get that one we just picked up the yips though and we got faceless visage i i feel like at one point i learned that faceless visage and the general's trophy don't work the way you want them to. I think Faceless Vicious triggers first. Um, that 
That is unconfirmed, but I am so afraid to do it that I don't think I will test that. At the mercy of the road and its myriad dangers. I think you can change your name on Twitch, Pallone, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Shadows of what they once were. Well, I'm glad I didn't do decide to do science on this one, because that would have been very unfortunate. The blind, it does nothing. I hate that. The blind does something there. I'll have you know. Protect the child is going to be really annoying. This ghoul is going to take a minute to... Uh... I should be using binding shadows in those cases. Yeah, I, I believe I've had that happen once upon a time, but they, they might have fixed it. That's always the that's always the big question mark in Lustrous. And vexation. That's always the question. Seven to thirteen has execute gets the kill. All right, I will take it. We can afford to chop here because the it's not like he's going to hit the back liner. The post is from less than a year ago. Okay, that's yeah, that's good. That's good intel for sure. That's what I'm talking about, Bloodfang. Where was that earlier? Where was that earlier? This does not finish the fight. I don't mind him hanging around and felling us once. That's A-OK -okay by me. The unrelenting okay. application of looking, looking decent. Yields morbid gains. Two and two. That is, a, that is a level of bobble collection, the likes of which we have not seen in a while. That was awful. What happened, team? Four and four feels like it used to be the floor. Hold on, what do we got? We got we got one smoke bomb here. I'll swap that out for two of those. The General's Trophy and the Harvest Child play relatively well together. Uh, I think I think it's fluctuating a huge amount based on stress. In Lustrous. I, I think that's what's going on. Because I, I did check it once before, and it's uh, Burning Stars is generally slightly more. Okay, all things being equal, we, we open with Binding. Of course you blind him. Grumble, grumble. I was going to say, we got the crit token. What are the chances that the blind... But yeah, next time we have unchecked power, I will I will double check it in Lustrous just so we can confirm. Okay, they want you to hit really hard here. Jeez. The yips. Their blinds work really well, I, I just want to say.
I miss the shuffle aspect of this team, like, a little bit, but... Maybe I should put that on our occultist instead. Our leper is, is so darn resilient. The yips twice in a row. Okay, so yeah, so burning stars to a undefended is doing 13 to 26. Well, hold on. Uh, burning stars on the corpse does 29 to 58. This does 19 to 37. So yeah, so burning stars is the the better, uh, the better option there. Malaise measured and steady. Let me take those. Nine by five is probably worth removing. This wound, it's nice to be able to have ministrations on. Not having to have that main heal is really is really good for business. The slow suffering begins. I know that reduces your damage in Lustrous, for, and for that I apologize, but... I think I'm gonna start with a reflection here. We have time. Maybe. We just resisted the taunt from Divine Comfort. That's kind of hilarious. The Crusader is such a good healer. Kind of, kind of ridiculous how good a healer the. Uh, we are, we are kind of slacking here a bit. I should probably be a little bit careful. The, the torch is, is suffering, for sure. Really too stressed from that? Another impediment, cleared with impunity. This Dark Impulse is... 25% Stress Resist is so nice, but the the damage is so dangerous. I don't think we have anything lock-worthy. The... one of the... so, okay, so this is... this is a thing that... that we need to talk about in the design of Darkest Dungeon. Will not be easy. So... I really... don't like the... hero permanence that they have added to the game. And what I mean by that is if I lock, let's say I lock natural swing on in Lustrous, which is a great perk. The problem is, is in Lustrous may sometimes be a warlock and won't be meleeing at all. It's, it's such an awkward, it's such an awkward thing because since I can't have multiple occultists, I end up in this weird situation where if I lock in like a melee quirk on someone who can be melee or ranged, I've I've nerfed them like 50% of the time, which I really don't like. I think that that's very poor design for lack of a better descriptor. I probably should have killed the corpse there. I 
gentle, but deadly all the same. But if, if anyone was ever like, you know what Alden doesn't do enough? Holy Lance. Now we got it. Hey, Mr. Scrake. How goes? How goes it? Were you, uh, Mr. Scrake, were you one of the, one of the dead from, uh, from our last run? I can't remember. I feel like you might have been. This road cannot be walked alone. Unrelenting application of violence. Ah, you were the Vestal, that's right. Well, Mr. Scrake, if if we uh if you're around for a duelist run, we can uh we can put you in as the duelist, but that may be ill fated. The big L, yeah, the big L from last week was not the most fun I've had in a while. So let's see, we got the ball for the harvest child. We got some blinds. All right, looks like a reasonable set of things. The landowner's manner. Do you hear the child's cries? Do I hear the child's cries? How could I not? Love to see that. Test a theory about the exemplar. Tell me more. Oh, that's absolute hogwash. Vile Feast feel healing her was just not... That ain't it, Chief. Yes, yeah, so... So Pillar builds... Builds to fall. Are they both force moves? That's, a, that's already an, an interesting question. Cause some, cause it seems like there's some randomness between pillar and rapturous beauty, right? Haste and carelessness, all marks of the unprepared. Or wait, no, no, no. I'm, I'm. What's the, what's their, their bread and butter attack that adds combo? That's not, uh, that's not pillar, right? Pillar's the one when they have two exaltation, when they have two exalted, right? Yeah, the fall. No, Prelude. Thank you. Thank you, Steam. Yes, Prelude's the one that I was thinking of. Yeah, so so Prelude is not a force move, but you're right. I think I think both of the other two are. I think that is correct. Can use both fall and pillar. And I'm a little worried about this going too fast. I think this is about to go very fast. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of choices, but. That'll do, donkey. Fall, then pillar. So, so you're saying if, if he has both queued up, which one does he use first is, is the question of the hour. That's a, that's a start to this fight. We sadly didn't get him dead before he's going to do something. 
That would have been my guess. I would have guessed Pillar before Fall. Excellent work. This guy is being super annoying. For, for how well we just did at taking him out, that took a lot of work. So do you do you think it might have changed then? Is that uh is that your suspicion? Mr. Scrake? Or is the vi the video from like very recent? I see it. If if there's some I mean I'm sure there is some mechanic at play there. I, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if you have two force moves, if it just picks one of the two. That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem too unreasonable. Yeah, what, what is this order actually doing for us? Rallying Cry increases resistance. We should probably just take that off. It's doing literally nothing. Guess we didn't need that to uh, to land that. Because the altar has two worship and your man at arm had combo and taunt. Hmm. Yeah, I would expect that if you have multiple forced moves, oh, Tenacity's on a three-turn cooldown, so I have to pass. That's not cool. I thought I thought Tenacity was spammable. We don't have we don't have a, another spammable. Ugh, that's awkward. All right, I need to be more mindful of that moving forward. Let's see. Poison Ring, not that interested. Gilded Mine is nice. Healing Solve is nice. Carriage lamp is whatever. All right, we'll still do it though. The harvest is here. Pity those with a place at the table. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Swing and a miss. Full gains him a worship token, uh, and Pillar is forced when he has two worship tokens, and an ally is alive. If there's no ally, he uses Exaltation, which is forced as well. That all sounds correct. Let's see. Uh, in this case, I think we I think we're better off sack stabbing. I think we divine comfort just to get a little bit of healing going here. We intimidate here, which lessens our up. Oh, okay, would have lessened our damage incoming, but steady yourself. It wasn't too bad, regardless. Ten to twenty-one, seven to fourteen. Yeah, so we definitely. That was a low roll. I don't think we need to spend that right now. How the heck did we stun 
that meat. Like, actually. Do we have Jinx on someone? And I didn't realize it? Am I losing my mind here? Ah, oh, clenching claws. Thank you. See, I was like sitting here. I was like, wait, where did that come from? Hilarious. I so rarely use clenching claws. It's kind of like one of those things. Ah, boo. Boo on the blind, but doesn't matter. Still got paid. We can be pretty greedy here if we want to be. Because we'll put it, put it on death's door regardless there. I think that's fine. Uh, Clenching Claws is not on the leper at the moment. Is it? Oh yeah, Clenching Claws is on the Vestal right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was a bit of a goof. I forgot she had blind. Now I just have to decide if I'm going to greed. Yeah, I'm going to greed. We should outspeed him. Okay, that was fine. Greater threats await those who dare. Very little of great interest here. Except for Gruel. Hey, Rue, how's it going? The loathing whispers. Definitely Gruel here. Footman's Grog wasn't doing a lot. This is basically worthless, so I'll put the Gilded Mind there, I guess. Now we're just carrying around. We're not going to use Baby Head, I don't think. Unless we want to go back to Shuffling. Do we want to go back to Shuffling? Probably not. Yeah, the Death's Heads are not great. That's for sure. So I think Signed Indenture is just not getting played. What are we rocking over here? Eh, I, think we, I think we like what we got going on there. Faceless Visage isn't getting played. All right, there we go. So we have a little bit of money. I don't think we have anything we want to lock in, unfortunately. Unless just, I'm going to be really sad when Natural Swing goes away on you. But like I was saying before, the, the lack of being able to have multiple occultists means I can't have a Warlock Occultist and an Aspiring Occultist. And I think that generally speaking, I don't love locking in Melee Occultist as our as our permanent plan. requires attention. The yips needs to go away. Even the worst habits can be overcome. I think we grab two of these. And then... Unfortunately, we got, we got a whole lot of nothing. Like, natural swing, it's good, but I don't think so. I don't think it's, it's good enough to... To lock in, unfortunately. Is anyone ever going to use Poison Ring? No. I also don't think I'm probably ever going to use this Dark Impulse. Footman's Grog may also not be long for this world. But yeah, I wish I, I wish I could just have a roster of multiple heroes. Not that I want to get five, uh, five mastery on two of every hero, but. Our armor is almost spent. We'll probably take a right, hit up this resistance encounter. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. 
All right, we're gonna take it all, and then we'll have to. You can carry no more. We'll have to ditch some stuff. Tinkers, I do like contraptions. I don't think we're doing carriage lamp. Like I said, harvest bounty is not it. Still holding out for a sluice. It's probably gonna be sluice versus sprawl, unfortunately. Corrupting cleaver? Nobody's blighting. But yeah, so Mr. Strake, is there a is there a reason that you are curious to do this particular uh, this particular science, or is it just just a matter of curiosity? Like, do you think there is some way to exploit it? Also, I'm I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed by the, the blind not working on Howl for a second time in a row this run. Got it, but it doesn't... It doesn't build into anything that you think is, like, exploitable or manipulatable. It's just... It's just for the, uh... For the joy of knowledge, from the sounds of it. Steady yourself. It'll be nice when we get Burning Stars upgraded for sure. But my my perfect flawless uh, empty stress bar has been uh, has been molested by that uh, that ghoul, unfortunately. Rather get pillar first, because uh, if it's the case, you couldn't get either. Uh, got it. So, so more opportunity to remove combo is what you're thinking about. I see it. So let's see. We could we could spend some candles. We're, we're kind of sitting on a lot of candles now. I don't really know where it's good to use candles. I guess we'll do this. Why not? Everybody gets a little bit of strength. That's fine. Sorry, buddy, but you're roasted. A promising development. It was suggested that Pillar might be an attack move. That's an interesting, an interesting hypothesis. Surprised that that didn't put him on death's door. I'm really going to try to get back around to the Crusader. That's a that's a that's an interesting turn of phrase there. Uh, <laughs> cooking meat specifically. Persistence. 
Resistance will overcome even the greatest of threats. That was a nice payday. The loathing of base. But yeah, I, I find it so hard to take... To ever take either melee or range specific skills on most heroes, which feels... Or lock in those quirks, at least. Which feels really bad. Like, the... the world. The idea that you're kind of locking yourself into one or the other feels just, it, it doesn't feel correct. Nice, nice defend token there, I will say. Our Vestal has just been taking so much. Good luck, Pallone. That's that's kind of my point, Mr. Scrake. That's kind of my point. It it feels really bad that that you uh, you can be looking for you can be looking for that, and everything else is kind of secondary. You know, I I would consider uh, I would consider things like natural swing. Like I think it's it's natural swing isn't bad in the right context, but you know, for an occultist, how can I? How can I refuse the potential of Bloodthirsty? Is there a place to get Bloodthirsty? I know it's a weird, a weird phrasing of that question, but... Like, is, is there a academic study way of getting Bloodthirsty? Stumbling and stupefied. Ah, but it still, it still doesn't benefit Acid Rain, which I guess is okay, but... But it's one of those things, because, like, for the first time in a while, I have heroes that I'm trying to rebuild. And the question seems to be... I don't think I can risk that. So that's 23%. That's 18%. So this is our higher percent chance to crit. I guess we can't really do that. Laughs and examine it. No, no uh, acid rain is needed. I mean, I guess that's valid. Oh, jeez. It was disappointing. The work continues. Laughs in Poet Heal. <laughs> I always, I almost always go Scourge. So I, I always play Scourge and I don't play more and more, but Sealed Doorway, the thing in the corner, thought experiment and caged creature. So so they, they have the potential to get it, but do any of them have a particularly high percentage chance? Of getting them, Steam. Uh. All right, no worries, in Lustrous. I will be here. All right, we'll do we'll do a little bit of stress healing just because we're we're here, or attempt some potential stress healing. We have a one turn, a one turn gap here. at least has been tended to yeah that was I never liked playing that way <laughs> Mr. Scrake I have to admit like I I think that so so I guess the question is you you play a lot of trail to your redemption you play a lot of very uh, curated runs, is what I will call them. Do you think that in a just regular, like quote unquote, normal comp, the examinate is better than the uh, 
better than the Scourge. Because I feel like in a Blight comp, Scourge is just unparalleled levels of insanely good. Ooh, a Sagir is interesting. That's my plan, Pallone. I don't, I don't know though. Like there, there was some, there was some interest in me maybe doing a second run here, which would make Bellatro pretty late into the day. Do we want to pick up ten percent crit? Would I? I don't know if I would swap it in right now. We don't really need the Greater Helldrot. So at one hundred and thirty-eight, maybe we grab that for the Crusader. Ten percent more crit is good. We could also go twenty percent damage though. Because we're always holy lancing. That's perhaps better. I mean, we can we can swap clenching claws for that. Hint of home is interesting, but I think we'll save our we'll save our money. Anything up here that I'm interested in? Not really. We could buy some flasks of whiskey, but I don't think we need them. But I don't use more and more on my Scourge. I said that earlier, Mr. Scrake. That's, I think this is the thing that I'm confused about. Like... The coach is plating like, I, I understand... Like, I feel like more and more is just not great. Just full stop. I, I don't use more and more on any of my flages because I think that the flag is much better doing damage to themselves and then uh, recouping that damage. I hate that. <laughs> I, I do not love giving him a crit off of that. Oh, come on, game. How did I know that was definitely going to happen? Man, not again. Ugh. Not again. Just over here minding my own business, and now that thing is uh, is the new the new spammer. Guess I'm flattered that they think I'm I'm worth the uh, worth the time. Take heart and do not relent. Oh my word, can you please? Oh boy. All right, we may, Houston, we may have a problem. Houston, we may have a problem, we'll see. Okay, yes, we do have a problem. Give me a moment here. Ah, where do I go to ban words? That should that should help things out a little bit. But
All right. We'll see if we'll see if that helps. Apologies all for that. <laughs> Pallone getting getting defensive. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Where was I? Yes, where where were we, Mr. Scrake? Let's see. I don't really want to keep you around. That's that's been my experience at least. The the survivability angle on Scourge seems really strong. Oh, I guess I have to hit you, though, if I want to get out of here. You wear a disguise to look like a human guy, but you're actually... You're not a man, you're a streamer, boo. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the straight horror of it all. The straight horror of it all. That was, that was quite the bot army, uh, unfortunately. I, I am a little worried that, uh, oh wow, we got the other trinket that we had. A little worried that, that there's some type of, uh, of cabal here where, uh, where in Lustrous, our, our chief mod disappears just as, uh, just as the bot army invades. Maybe, uh, maybe he's a secretly a turncoat. Could, we could have a problem. I, I need to try out the the examine it at some point, Mr. Scrake, under your uh, your careful tutelage. Songbook of Touching Dirges, love to see it. The place is a little worse for Ooh, wear. What was what was that that just popped up? I think we go. Oh, we got the vestal item, the unique reliquary, or excuse me, not not the vestal, the other one. Slugger on Pallone is actually pretty cool. Did Illustrious pick up the yips again, or was that the yips we've already gotten rid of? Hey, Connor, welcome. You can carry no okay, that's more. the yips we already got rid of. Thank goodness. All right. Let's see. Let's start out here. Okay, it's not bad. Now, now, what does this do? Plus 5% resistance per negative token, plus 5% damage per positive token. We'll do that. We'll, we'll use it now, I think. Oh, I should have probably checked if we're going to the sluice. We are. All right, maybe I shouldn't have used all the food. There's, there's an argument to be made for that being the case. Uh, Blood Fang and then Lustrous. Are the laggards? Conventional fare. It's pretty good, Connor. I I would I would recommend it. I I've been enjoying it. Greater Gilded Mind. I don't think it's quite worth the price of admission. I'll grab the meditative totems A for sure. On the road to damnation. But that's probably all we grab. We did pick up five mastery, which feels good. This will get us into... This will get us out of the mastery desert. Does that make sense? How does this upgrade to be? Removes days and stun. I, tenacity? I, I think tenacity has some potential. Kind of curious about it. We're going into the sluice, so picking up the Intimidate upgrade is actually kind of nice. And then... We probably should have given more love to Felice that, that turn, but that's okay. The next stop is away. We'll get that going. Is there anything else in here that I was particularly interested in? Not really. We could grab Icebox to go with our uh, with our food barrels, but I don't think it's that useful. Yeah, let's just save our money.
They they are very different. They are very very different. But the steak, we could buy one steak, but everybody's already fed. Uh give me one second here. I'm just going to go use the bathroom really quickly and I will be right back. Should be very quick away. Thank you for your patience. We're back. Let's see. Do we have anything else? We got some good. We got some good healing, which is nice. And then everything else is a bit meh. Oh yeah, we do have the we do have the Tinker's workbench, don't we? Gonna hang on to the smoke bomb for now. But we're only going to the sluice, so let's uh, let's get onward and upward. Oh yeah, we did pick up the crit trinket. I think we, we slap that there. Snap judgment. We're not moving, so it can go away. I think clenching claws can also go away, but let's uh let's go. Upward and onward. I don't think we have any chance of negatives anymore. Aspiration unites the hopeful. But yeah, I'm so excited for Darkest uh Darkest Kingdom for uh for, for getting some of that DD1 nostalgia. What, Mr. Scrake? When you say it, are you talking about clenching claws? Are you talking about... Are you talking about snap judgment? Jealous Whisper, we're currently locked in place. We're, we're using the general's we're using the general's trophy and I don't really plan on switching it so jealous whisper doesn't feel particularly useful Oh, that's not the movement one. All right, I got them confused. <laughs> that's fair. I still, I still don't. I don't like snap judgment, unfortunately, in this context. I don't think because we're not running shambler spawn. So I don't know that it is worth it. I find it really hard to use any of those. 
Uh, no, I don't believe we're getting any new classes. It's just a new game mode. Uh, it does look like the Bounty Hunter may be a first class hero in the DLC, though. That's a possibility. Oh, see, that's that's a beautiful thing, for sure. All right, we'll just ministrations here. Ministroni that. Okay, does sound like folks are back, so we may take another brief uh, brief pause here while people are coming in. The, uh, the puppers are going absolutely ham bone. So be right back. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. All right, they, they are indeed back, so I, I at least closed my door to, to get things going. Let's see, so what do we... Eh, we're not gaining anything out of this. Let's just evaporate this guy. We're sitting at zero stress. We're good. I wouldn't mind picking up something that's not so stress-dependent for, uh, for a cultist. Yeah, the big sepsises feel really good, Mr. Scrake. It's a little bit of a you have to build around it a lot. What uh what comp did you use for the uh for that scourge build? Were you using the rot squad or were you using something different? Let's see. You and Pallone, I think, are the ones who want to take down a peg. Skeever! Why do I have Abyssal Artillery on the board? I thought I swapped that out. Man arms, flagellant, grave robber, plague doctor. Hmm. Why man at arms? What was the uh, what was the thinking there? Ordering here is a little bad. Combo generation with strategic withdrawal. I feel like there are other places you can get combo, aren't there? This is one of the worst skeever fights I've had in a while. Really, really slack in here. What is going on here? I am struggling to kill this skeever. Holy cow. The breakpoints. Game, why? The the improved dodges, they do nothing. That's a little spooky. The worm is probably going to eat. I think that's just the that's just the cost of admission. Although I guess we can at least get a bit of healing off of these.
I guess I just served it up another another snack. A brilliant conclusion. And then only tenacity saves us from from the pass. But we got to kill this guy quickly or We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a pass on our hands, anyways. Stupendous. Okay, we got the execute with uh, with our occultist. They're probably not going to force an overflow here. We do have an interesting question of... I'm trying to think about how we take out the boss now that I've decided in Lustrous is, is a melee person also. Speaking of which, that's a ridiculous thing to have on. We could grab Malediction. I basically never run Malediction. I don't know. Oh, would, would you play it differently now, do you think? Uh, Shambler? We gotta do it, right? Sluicy, sluicy, goosey Shambler? Crusader in one. Hmm. We tread beyond the realms of reason. That's interesting. What uh, what utility do you think Crusader brings to the equation that is better than what the Man at Arms is doing? Yes, in this case, the occultist is aspirant. Yes. Lethality writ large. I've never played the Crusader as a uh, as a defensive hero. It's an interesting thought, Mr. Scrake. They are an insane healer, though, that's for sure. Double cre <laughs> double stun there is, is nice for business, for sure. burning stars in this case just get the get the burn down going well I'm thinking about the boss for for doing for doing the lung work that's my uh, that's my current question I think we're taking you down ASAP I have let the clappers kind of kind of hang out, which is always a little bit dicey. Oh, 
Oh, my crit got used up by the bomb. Damn it. I, I always forget that that one can stun. That's unfortunate. All right, we're not quite there. I'm going to do that out of an abundance of caution since I think I'm going to be intimidating here. The clappers are getting fast, as as you do. We're getting abused a little bit here, not gonna lie about it. ordained one a resounding response Kind of, I guess this guy keeps going faster and faster, so I need to be, I need to be aware of that. But we'll have, we'll have taunt moving forward. So we should, we should definitely focus on recovery here. We're already at one, so I guess this guy does scale kind of to infinity, though. That would be the only the only downside. I want to get at least one more heal, but okay, I wasn't expecting that to kill. The one pleasant in the extreme. It's just it's just the overall kit, Dark Chiron. The they they felt that the vessel would be too strong if they if they got both. So I think that's about it. I guess. Since I, I was not in the room when it happened. I might do this. Unless just being super fast hasn't been game changing for us, I don't think. But we do need we do need a bit of healing. This is when the collector swoops in and uh and does us dirty, I believe. If uh if past past performance is any indication. Ancient waterways, the swine proliferate on scene and unchecked. Doesn't really matter which one of these you pick. It's only benefiting those two. But yeah, administrations is just a bad version of battlefield medicine. Uh, although doesn't it at the upgraded tier, it it removes uh it removes both uh, daze and stun, and it does give a resistance to whatever's removed. So there, it. I, I guess we shouldn't be too harsh on it. There are there are some nice advantages to ministrations. But but I would say it is not as good. That is that is for sure. And the the fire resists have been unfortunate. Hate wasting that hit on that, but you do what you gotta do. Well done. Uh, 
my my kingdom for an icon of light. But that was what doomed the last run. Not that it specifically doomed the last run, but you know, the, the thought is. In Lustrous, you're hanging on a natural swing. That's kind of impressive. I love killing the corpse. Oh, really? That was that was disappointing. I do think that the three charges of that should do slightly more also. It's it always feels a little underwhelming. So this is a weird one. If we want to use this crit token, we have to not destroy this corpse. And I don't think we can do that. A resounding response. So there wasn't there was an easy way to take advantage of things there, but that's fine. Bone mallet. I don't think. I don't think bone mallet is on the menu. Also, did I buy a bunch of meditative totems and then not use them? Is that what happened? But yeah, Ministrations also has a bit of a cooldown. Which can be hard to work around. I don't really want to pick up the positive quirk here because we have natural swing right now, which I like. So we'll hang on to that for the moment. Find. Murder weapon. Hmm. And tin delicacies. We haven't seen murder weapon in a while. I think hierarchy of sights is a nah. Footman's grog can go. seven leagues so we might have one more interaction but no it looks like we're done we're done this is a long seven leagues the inn is going to be like right around the corner Whoop. Oh, Felice picks up natural swing. Right, think, and rest. Ooh, hypochondriac. Should, should have focused on that one. Unfortunate. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Where are we going? All right. Another Sprawl it is. City. Another inferno of mutilation. And then two mastery, I think both go here because I was I've been neglecting a touch. Trinket organizer, I think it's too late to bother. Deathcap spores are are fine. We don't have a lot of dots for the uh, for the librarian right now. I don't think that's a huge deal. And then the food situation is a little funky. But we're we're pretty well mastered out, so I think we'll we'll do just fine. Part of me that's like, do we put Murder Weapon back here? I suppose 10% healing, right? The occasional poke from her might might Murder Weapon something. The Dream. Do we want to grab some whiskeys? Do we have, uh... 
Yeah, and Lustrous and Bloodfang, actually. I will... I'll bite on some whiskey for them, and probably also the songbook. There we go. Alright. Good enough for government business. Into the sprawl we go. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. But yeah, so aspiration unites the hopeful. Try and decide if this is a team that that we just deflate the lungs with. That's probably the safe bet. We just don't have a lot of back rank options. Like we're basically relying on our crusader. Behold the great Whoa. cities of man. The the whole the whole place is hoarders. Is that what I just saw? Hoarder. We go hoarder hoarder. There's a hoarder over here too. All right, we'll go to the first hoarder. See if we get what we want. Then we can go watchtower creature den. Switch over to the left path. We don't even have to. We can't miss the lair. Okay. All right. Well, you know why I like being here. Just saying. Even with the changes to Snappy Swig, I still think it's probably the strongest trinket in the game. Pilfered Wealth. Reap Skill? Eh. Enlightened Element. Probably also eh. I think we I think we go to second hoarder. But maybe I buy the Warhorn and the Pyrotechnic Dazzlers. For another run, Pilfered Wealth could be fun. For sure. A simple choice. At least it should be. But yeah, I, I almost always go Holy Lance on my on my Crusaders. Maybe I need to rethink that. I would have liked the Greater Sharpness Charm, too, but... You, you don't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you get what you need. All that matters is the flickering torch you bear. God, you have to have 10 speed for it now. That is... That is spicy. But more crit tokens is good for business. It's... I, I actually... I don't think it's possible to naturally have enough speed anymore, is it? So they basically made it so that you... That you require that. So let's see. Demon pull... Demon Pull is a ranged ability, right? Yeah, okay. I miss having Breacher on my leper.
I should have been zealousing rather than uh, rather than holy lancing for sure. I guess she gets the crit token. Interesting. Did measure out your violence. She just picked up rabies. I was like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> Big ol' heels. Alright. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. I guess she'll she'll help out a bit with the with the lungs. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be too worried. How's our inventory? Ugh, we're already already flirting with fullness. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, greater sharpness is only a slight improvement over Raven's Reach. We do get a hospital. And a hospital after. Wow. All right. Lots of, lots, lots of hospitality to be had. So, yeah. So, I guess as we're approaching the end of this, I should ask people. Do people prefer us to keep going and do another run of Darkest Dungeon 2 rather than swapping over to Bellatra right away. Yeah, Curvian, I didn't I didn't do any uh anything with uh with any of our skins, which is uh regrettable. Do I want to spend our candles? Eh, that would be all our candles. I'll hang on to our candles just in case there's a better use for them. Well, that's why that's why I'm asking Pallone. That's why I'm asking. It would it would likely be an act one for us here, so so it would be it would be relatively quick, I think. But it, it would still mean that Bellatro would get cut a bit short. For sure. Maybe for fights like this, Anonemesis is something we should have picked up? Hard to say. The dodginess is out of control. There, there is plenty on the YouTube also, Pallone. Not to say that, uh, not to say that I'm not interested in doing it live. But so far, you're the only person who has, uh, has said one way or the other that they have any preference on DD2 verse. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll be uh, switching over after this one. There's there's some good runs up there. We have we've had some fun runs for sure. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. I think we just we just clean that up. Easily 
dispatched. Cooperation is the key. Keep keep that uh, crit rolling. I think is the best thing to do. This guy has stacked up a mighty mountain of dodge tokens. If we could miss this, right. unfortunate. But we got tenacity to help us delay. We're only hitting with the leper, which is amazing. All right, we should we should get it here, and then we'll we'll have a pretty optimal entrance into the next phase of the fight. A hero goal is complete. Hurrah! We get one stress and we lose one stress. Love to see it. Ooh, consecration has not refreshed yet, and yet it is uh, it is worn out. Interesting. I think we do that because we get rid of the defend. Oh wow, the general's trophy is uh, has run out. I forgot that that happens. I forgot that it has a timer now. Hmm, interesting. What does that mean for us? <laughs> Means we should probably have at least one front skill available. Um, hilarious. I forgot that happens now. I think that means we don't have a great option for what to... Oh my gosh, stop shuffling those two, for Pete's sake. But now you have, like, basically nothing. This is awkward. All right. We should, we should make our skills, at least for boss fights, we should make sure that our skills are are aligned better for uh, for the possibility of the General's Trophy running out. Completely forgot that that was now a thing. This leper can't miss. I just want to observe. Gosh, it is really awkward right now trying to trying to get everyone unshuffled straightforward and effective it's not like we're in any danger here but you don't pull on it's kind of eerie Tenacity again. <laughs> Eleven rounds. That was not a fast uh, creature den by any stretch of the imagination. There is a little light here. All right, no, no bonus mastery there. The loathing whispers. Protectorate can probably go. We probably won't go back for Shambler's Eye, but. I'm a little hesitant to, to drop it off right now. We have 33 baubles, so the hoarder is not going to be too impactful. We're also down to our last wheel. Is that going to matter? Doesn't look like it. 
All right, we'll go. We'll go here. We can get rid of rabies and and hypochondriac. Although our our cash flow is a little a little less than optimal. Mind your wheels. They have nothing left to give. Our, our cup overfloweth here. I like that we picked up Ickerbaum. Good against the librarian. That'll that'll probably make it extra straightforward. Uh, I think. I think hypochondriac is our higher priority, but I guess we can get rid of rabies too if we want to. Rabies on you is no big deal. What does rabies do again? It's annoying on both of them, but I'll get rid of it there. Probably should have checked to see if there was anything up here that we really wanted. Doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, a stimulating polstice would have been really good for freeing up that that uh, slot on Illustrious for the boss. Should have probably done that. That was that was probably a bit of a misplay. Getting rid of rabies was lower priority. Getting a little extra speed on Illustrious would have been very good. Just, we'll start getting this guy's block worked out over, or at least try to. <laughs> Pallone, that's that's every round. That's the way that works. A breakthrough. This guy is moving moving quick. I guess I'll do this. We gotta get something going on this guy, unfortunately. As I say, if we could pick up the kill on the corpse, that would have been okay. Ugh, AoE time. Yep. Thirty-four spades, thirteen hearts, eight diamonds, twelve clubs, and it's trying its hardest to give me anything but spades. <laughs> Sounds about about standard. Nah, I was gonna say we could get one more hit back there, but looks like we can't. Yes, extremely, extremely bolatro energy on that one. Light your allies on fire? No, thank you. So let's see, I just want to check. Do we have anything? I can't believe we're still hanging on to natural swing all the way back there, all the way on in Lustrous. That was the one we went in with. It's amazing that it hasn't gotten overwritten. Centuries of human learning and achievement ruined by riotous contempt. We could get a signature item. Ooh, do we? Does that mean we get your signature item? Let's try that. The Wainwright awaits. No, we get a signature item. Okay, aid. I mean, good to know. The Leaf Spring, not that useful to us. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one's looking pretty by the books. Unless we get some crazy collector shenanigans or something. I was going to say, if we had taken him out on turn one, that would have been really nice, but... We do not get... There is no joy to on that one. Pretty, pretty middling start here. Oh, Infernal Task Massacre on round one is so annoying. And apply it judiciously. I'm just in divine comfort to counteract all the uh, all the burn the nation we're getting. All right, I like that. Crisis, we can rely only upon each other. All right, it's exactly lethal on her, so I, I think that's the play. One less obstacle in our path. Nice chomp. Since we had two taunt already, it seemed seemed like the reasonable play there. Straightforward and effective. Ah, oh, what a love for the crit to land. Ooh, there's a spicy crit. Just wanted to check. I Burning Stars I think is always gonna be our better our better selection there. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. I don't I don't think I'm a super big fan of this comp, which is frustrating if we're going to at maximum speed rebuild them. <laughs> Feels bad. Let's see. For the librarian, what are you going to be doing? I guess you're going to be demon pulling initially. It's not great. Maybe we hit you with the pyrotechnic dazzlers instead. All right. I, I'm not worried about the librarian, but it, it may be kind of a weird librarian. And with it, the remains of philosophy. 17. Reason, so you're one off. This is a kill if you hit it. All right. Bravo. And if we get another crit token, now she's softened up enough that we can get her. Was, I guess, being the operative word there.
Ooh, all right, Pallone, sounds good. Sounds, sounds not only good, but delicious. Nice crit for the dot. Did not expect her to hit for that. Nicely done. Certainly looks like we're coming out of this one feeling pretty okay. Could have probably gotten some healing there. That would have been, I think, the wiser play. Yeah, we, we left a bit of healing on the table with our leper. Should have been thinking about that. Hate, hate that we, we didn't roll the crit token on that one. And I just like picking up, I like uh, doing the Consecrate there because the, the dodge token is quite nice. Our relationships are carrying hard on the stress right now. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Should have uh, should use the other the other stab. I'll trade blows with this guy all day. That's for sure. Okay. I was thinking there's some possibility. Sadly, I don't think we can ensure that we're going to be on fire to make Smoldering Hymnal our speed fix. Complete catalog is kind of interesting. We'll do, we'll do this regardless, though. We, uh, we had always planned on... He teeters madly upon his ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment. Not a bad hit, either. Wow. Alright, we're off to the races, that's for sure. We could have made sure the ablet of powder was on the was on the board somewhere, but I think we're still okay.
We don't have great turn order for, for making sure that our heaviest hitters have don't have dodge tokens to deal with, but... Stay I don't yourself. think it's going to make a difference. What do you get from this? Felice gains a strength? Sure, let's do let's do that. An opportunity. Squandered. Alright, she hits pretty hard. I, I should I should give her some credit. I was complaining earlier about judgment, but judgment hits pretty hard. So the question is, do we Necessary. do we like on the Crusader is currently rocking what? Extra crit and Raven's Reach. We could increase the duration of the burns. Eh, I don't think that's that useful. Smoldering Hymnal, unfortunately, we need a third trinket slot to make that particularly interesting. We could ditch calibrating sensor for smoldering hymnal. We get a lot of a lot of kills with Pallone. It is true. That's kind of an interesting one. I'll I'll just I'll try it. I don't think it's uh I don't think it's particularly transformative, but it could be funny. Let's see. Stew pot, you're too late. Uh, complete catalog, I don't think we're swapping over to that. Let's see. You can put those there for now. Put these here for now, I guess. We are certainly rich with contraptions. Options require careful deliberation. We have some more money now for some more quirk removal. I could get down with that. Yeah, we should we should do that. Though decidedly inconvenient. If we're gonna be running these guys through the ringer over and over again, we might as well uh, keep them keep them healthy and happy. See, rabies is not necessarily or something we're interesting. No stimulating pulse just feels bad. I now I now remember that that was the other thing we were looking for, or wanting for. Let's see, tangle tactician, natural swing, no lightning reflexes, photomaniac, no, no, no. Nervous could get removed. Let's let's do the disease first though. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. These are all actually pretty... We can save our money, I think. Let nothing bar your path. Through them, and so they must fall. 
And I don't think it matters at this point. We're pretty good, but I guess Bloodfang has the slightly better relationship with our leper. They're sturdy. Got it. We did secure the kill. That's good. Right, we'll just put that down. This guy undodged. I'm gonna rely on the Crusader to do the work back here. I think I'll probably give the Vessel a crit token to try and help her along. And then if you already have a crit token, I won't bother picking up another one. <laughs> it, it is a good point. It is a good point, Dark Chiron. Uh, I, I've always been most aghast by the uh, the jiggle physics on uh, on the uh, the muffin top of this monstrosity, but but honestly, there's there's just a lot to be upset with uh, when it comes to this guy. Hello. Your execution is coming from where? An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well Might might use greater protectorate. The loathing abates. More likely than bone mallet, I guess. Because what are we working on? Oh wait, was that murder weapon proking? That had to be murder weapon proking. Hilarious. Yeah, he used to he used to do his light on fire as a uh, as a pre action, which I think I, I I don't think it was that overpowered if I'm being honest, but you know they uh, they make their changes. You keep your secrets, J jiggle physics. We probably should have taunted. There was no reason not to taunt there. Well done. No reason not to taunt. Yeah, I never realized that Demon Pull completely invalidates, or not completely, but has the potential to invalidate the protection that's provided by the front barrier here. He moves, which means his defense is broken. Hello, respectful. How you doing? I wish we could take these with us if we, uh... If we spare them. I think that still gets the kill relatively quickly. My thinking was... We can potentially get a bit of a heal here before we have to depart. Alright, we did not net that, that positively, if I'm being honest. But... 
Uh, Illustrious, you missed uh, a massive bunch of bots all coming in and spamming us relentlessly. That was the main thing you missed. I wish I had had a, a second pair of hands for banning. <laughs> but we, we got the job done, so no big deal. But it was uh, it was quite the quite the party we were uh, we were doing battle with. Let's see, ethereal dust. I don't know about these crow's feet. We have too many crow's feet. But uh, but yeah, other than that, we're just we're just continuing onward. Uh, I I asked in chat if anyone had a preference on more Darkest Dungeon two versus Bellatro, and uh, the only response I got was Pallone wanting me to play some Bellatro. So we probably will switch over. Indeed, indeed, more and more popular. Indeed. Bravo. Resisted, and I use my crit. I'd like to file an official complaint. Wow, we are not, we are not starting off strong here. Uh, what the heck, team? We've been we've been nonstop critting, and then all of a sudden, here we are. Can't can't hit a crit to save our life. The the, the stuns were good though. I will not complain about the stuns. Just in case. Alright, so here's our chance. Smoldering Hymnal on the Leper. Do we get the free action? No. We don't get the free action. Yeah, I... I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I feel like... I feel like I'd like to make more positive headway on on getting our team back up and operational. But I also really like Bellatro. <laughs> I'm, I am I am conflicted to say the least. Ooh, that did not get the kill on that corpse. That was unfortunate. It's got five HP. I think our leper may be able to get the kill on it. So I'll do that. I guess we're we're actually slending, aren't we? Hmm. It does certainly look like we're gonna take the uh, take this one on the nose. We get the crit token, but we have nowhere to spend it. Yeah, we will take the we will take the crit. It is not the end of the world, though. Amidst the spoils. Oh, good! We got signed indenture again. Yeah, I got jealous. I got jealous. Whisper and snap judgment confused earlier. That was uh, that was foolhardy of me. No, the shambler's eye is no longer equipped in lustrous. You're currently rocking speed and uh, and snappy swig. Although I would happily convert that over to Smoldering Hymnal and Snappy Swig if uh, if we find a way to boost your speed using uh, in items. 
but I don't know that we'll find those in items. I had an opportunity to buy them and I, I foolishly removed rabies instead. Rest now for a time. All right, you received thick blooded, which means you just lost slugger, I believe. No, oh, you kept natural swing. Interesting, okay, well, that's, that's something. Let's see. Uh, Book of Body Tales is not going to get used. Let's get... Our worst relationships are 18, so like Bloodfang, Pallone. Just picked up Pyrophobic. Uh, that's not great. That's, uh, that's actually quite bad for this boss. Um... We may, we may try to get rid of that. Let's see. Are we going to get any speed fixing? We do get speed fixing. Wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. How are we doing on... The book of... I should not have bought the songbook of Touching Dirges. We, uh, we don't need it. And we, in fact, won't use it. So that was that was a bit of a mess. So right now, you're at speed 15, but we can now... We can reclaim this, put this here, put this here, and now you're at 9. So we do need the other one, just to make sure that you're fast enough. Do we want to... Do we want to shuffle for the final encounter? I... I we're going to be slow playing it, so we're going to need to play around the expectation of that anyways. So maybe we do. However painful, maybe we're better off with complete catalog. Of it's a little it's a little risky since we were so used to playing it one way and now we're going to be shifting into a, into a different approach, but... I don't think it's a terrible idea. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Like, getting, getting a guaranteed strength and crit token, or not a guaranteed, getting a guaranteed strength token and a 50% chance of a crit token is pretty much better than just about anything else that we could get. I think. Grab that. And grab that. I think we'll... So you're already fast enough at 13. So... Oh, that's blocked by Cultophobia, so we'll put that there. Which, uh, which version of the buff did you get? You got strength. Okay. Okay, well, I think we're... Inevitable I think we're plenty good. You once again. And yeah, we could pick up one more thing here, but... I mean... One more Thunderclap isn't bad. I'll probably use the Noisemakers for the final boss, is my guess. Well, actually, Crow's Feet are pretty good here. Okay, let's get going. Uh, 50% in Lustrous. Is it G to get the Glossary? I always forget what the button for the Glossary is. But yeah, Strength Token is a 50% increase. All right, let's do the thing. Into the mountain we go. Ooh, bad. Bad rolls. Tried and tested. A bomb to be counted on. Yeah, we'd have to stay above five tokens to, to do that. Now, if we get strength tokens from other places, then additional strength tokens aren't useful. Instead of swig? 
I I don't know about that. Having having the crit in our pocket is pretty pretty good. Now we are we're now no longer under the effects of the general's trophy. So I need to I need to remember that. Now, does that, does that mean I have the right skills equipped on you? We don't need tenacity anymore. I think we're going that way with that. That way with that. That looks good. Okay. Now, do we only have one fight here because this is Act 2? I think that's correct. I just want to blow this guy up. I'm sorry. Blinding this guy would have been nice also, but I just I couldn't I couldn't resist the temptation. Mistimed, misdirected. Oh, well now I really wish I had put something on him. That's unfortunate. Measured and steady. Crit way of the worlds is not very enjoyable here. We we may end up eating in the Zoic Endals also. Potentially here. Oh, failing. Oh, yeah, we don't have the general's trophy anymore, so we're not taking more damage there. That's unfortunate. Steady yourself. I decided to eat the worship and not try and push him down. Uh, the enemy weakens and wanes. Gosh, the that is unfortunate. Another crit way to the worlds? Probably. Okay, we can we can fix that. Oh. This guy's already dead. So We're better off administrations in here. In the solemnity. Oh, I didn't actually check to make sure that the uh, the burn was less than the rest. That was a that could have been a an oopsie daisies. Okay, so now for the boss. I think we're going control game. which I think looks like that. No, we're not gunning down because we I don't I don't think we have a great team for it because once it starts doing the doubles, we're not going to be we're not going to be very good at doing it. So I think we're going to 
we're gonna end up taking down the lungs and then or taking down the the sacks and then taking down the rest so let's do that the seething sigh Sturter's avatar of ill-concealed rage. So this is this is our our biggest danger zone is here. Lethality writ large. Cuz if we if we mess up our our holy lance, we don't have a huge amount of backup, but we get it. You're you're kind of in an awkward place in Lustrous. Like you're you're great if we uh it, unless you're in the front rank at the wrong moment. That's kind of that's kind of your your biggest weakness, but as long as you're in the right place at the right time, I think we're good. the golden kappa has left the chat I think we I think we remove the dot here cuz it's getting kind of chunky at last. We can probably intimidate here to to get the weakened tokens. We don't need to be taking such big hits. See now this would be scary if you didn't have the unchecked power But you do. Agony. The stress, I tell you what. Mistimed. Misdirected. Gosh, if everything is a crit, nothing is a crit, right? That's what they say. Don't know why I, I bothered with that, if I'm being honest, given that uh, we're about to melt down. I could Solemnity so that we, we haven't completely wasted it. But here's a good example of... We can we can Demon Pull, so we can, we can still do some damage, but it's not enough all by itself. Just gonna get a Resolute though, right? That's what I figured. There we go. Handled. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Food barrel with no food in our inventory is OP, maybe. Stupendous. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think food barrel did anything there. Um, but maybe. Guess we just keep on taking this out. Like we can, we can do this all day as long as we keep rolling resolutes, right? But yes, and lustrous, you are you are a bit of a monster when it comes to handling the uh, the lungs. It is true.
mean, we might as well, we might as well do this. Hang on to that, like. You know, Apollon is just swinging for the fences. <laughs> All right, it really wants us to kill that back lung ASAP, it seems. We'd, we'd prefer to kill both the lungs at approximately the same time. Just because the, it will start targeting multiple people once one of the lungs is dead, I believe. So we'll start mainlining damage on the, uh, on the other lung since we're, we're way far behind on it. Hopefully it inflates that long. Thank you. Now I have an excuse to really go ham on it. A brilliant conclusion. This is one of those situations where it's like, I think it is actually better for us to hit the reset button here and do it that way. But Poet Lepers, I tell you what. Okay, so we might, we might now be forced to, uh, well, this doesn't get a kill, though, right? Yeah, that doesn't quite get the kill. Although we are poking the body a little bit, which could cause problems. If at first you don't resolute, resolute, resolute again. No. We got it the first time, Dark. Uh, we got it the first time, but that's okay. Now, I used the I used the heal instead there because next turn we'll get it, and what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to spend our... Uh, I didn't want to lose our taunt and potentially get uh, get blinded. We'll stay in the back here, I think, with uh, with you, so that we can hack away at the front lung a bit more. Because now, oh yeah, we're not in solemnity range yet, so keep doing that. I don't think we need the heal. I just kind of want to let this him get chipped down just a tiny bit more because we haven't even used a solemnity yet. Fight through the fatigue. Okay, now the lungs go. Sorry, lungs. Ooh, we are one off there. <laughs> Killing blow there is is hilarious. So now it's going to start targeting too. So we need to We need to get the party going again. Cooperation is the key. The taunt is less important now. But we have a lot of these, so we'll use that up. And I'm going to wait I'm going to wait for a fully charged one of these. And now we can we can easily move you forward in Lustrous. Oh, and the freebie.
The smoldering hymnal proc. Gotta love it. I guess we use that even though we didn't quite get it to the to the full power. Just waiting on uh on solemnity to actually be procked. Could use it anyways. I feel like we're we're cruising for another meltdown here more than anything. Hard to get below that Solemnity Threshold, for sure. Actually, this is... We, we get to strip the, the defend and do some good damage there, so that's definitely the way to go. All right. Another Meltdown for us. Only seven to nine, but we're gonna have to do it eventually. Uh... Just to be on the safe side. This, I mean, we'd be we'd be at fifty percent damage now if we had done it. But we're we're on round fifteen of the fight, if if we're being honest. So, so I'm I'm doing binding shadows so we can use this uh, consecration of light a second time. If, hopefully, it'll just remove our our weaken here. It did not, but we get we get the crit, and that opens us up for uh, for a passable judgment here. We have a lot of burn going. Ten for five rounds. And the shuffle comp is firing on all cylinders. Welcome back, Pallone. We're, uh, we're in the final throws. But yeah, Pallone, you, you're, you're currently batting one resu Resolute and two Meltdowns. Gotta, gotta pump those numbers up. Alright, it was a good fight. Uh, looks like Illustrious is gonna is gonna take the cake. There we go. Your fault was not in burying your furies, but in thinking they would accept such a fate. Okay, I don't think we picked up any negative quirks from all of that, but uh, but yeah, we are we are back on the road. For a time. The road towards redemption. The road towards rebuilding. The road to all the rees. All right, I'm going to take another bathroom break now, uh, and we will we'll switch over after the break. So, BRB.
Thank you, and Lustrous, for the, the linkery. Much appreciated. And let's uh, let's get things switched over. Give me a moment here. Uh, boop that. Do that. Okay. Chat should be back up and operational. 